come and join me in my kitchen while we check out this two-in-one hybrid vacuum and mop cleaner called WAP. Hello, Nick here from Technovo and welcome back to the channel. I have been using this for the last couple of months. It's the Behow Wipe, a two-in-one hybrid vacuum and mop cleaner. But before we get into the review, please show some support for the channel by hitting that subscribe button, giving this video a thumbs up and following us on our socials at Technovo. So back in June, Behow, a company based in Hong Kong, started a Kickstarter campaign for their new product, Wipe. In the 30 days, they smashed their goal and got hundreds of backers, and for a very good reason too. At the time of the campaign, they sent me a prototype to try out, which I used a handful of times and gave it a positive write-up. It's now been a couple of months since receiving the prototype, and I've been using it every weekend since, and I thought I'd share my thoughts with you now. In the box, you get the cleaner itself in three sections, the charging and cleaning base associated accessories, and some instructions. It's an all white affair with subtle hints of an orange, rose gold chrome, and a splash of gray here and there. It's lightweight, sturdy, and feels well built. From top to bottom, the handle has two buttons, power and self-clean. Moving down, you have a brushed metal shaft leading to the mop head itself. There are two indicator lights showing power level and roller replacement requirements. The head itself resembles your traditional vacuum cleaner. It has a clear front cover, which can be opened up to showcase the brush and sponge. Keep going further down and the cleaner sits on an all-in-one charging and self-cleaning station. Sit the cleaner onto the base and it will begin to charge. The base also acts as a cleaning station, so once you feel the cleaner is dirty enough, pop it on, press the clean button and it will clean itself for you. There's a little bit of setting up to do with the cleaner and it needs to be done in advance. It's also recommended to charge a cleaner for at least two and a half hours before using it for the first time. Firstly, you need to soak the foam roller that's included in water until it puffs up and goes soft. The roller is very much like a paint roller. When dry, it's very firm, but once in water, it begins to soften and becomes more like a sponge. While the roller is soaking up some water, fill the base up to the top with clean water and add some cleaning product if you want. I use a small amount of bleach in my tank, but other products are available. They recommend nothing too bubbly like washing up liquid and double check your flooring before putting any product on it. Once the roller is no longer hard, insert it into the cleaner and you're ready to go. It took me by surprise that the cleaner is self-propelled. So when you hit the power button, it will begin to move on its own, making it very easy to use. Move forward, it vacuums, move backward, it wipes. Suck up the debris and dirt going forward, pull it back to clean the area with the water solution. Underneath the head is a rubber wiper, which helps leave a clean mop finish when pulling back. Ever been to an ice hockey game and seen the machine clean the ice? It's a bit like that and it's ever so satisfying to do. The overall performance was fantastic. I used the cleaner on wood flooring and stone and it worked perfectly on both. This cannot be used on carpets or upholstery, so don't even try. It would suck up anything in its way, which was usually crumbs, bits of food, pet hair, bits of paper, etc., whatever my two kids would leave on the floor. Likewise with the mop, it left a shiny clean finish to my flooring. As it's self-propelled, it's very easy to move forward, but you do need a little more force to bring it back. With the self-propelled, you can't make it go any faster by pushing it, you need to give it time. The cleaner head rotates and tilts, making it easy to go around corners and under sofas too. Now there isn't a container or bag for the rubbish it does suck up, so bear that in mind, and if there is a lot to clean, you will need to self-clean more often to unload. It's also not a dry vacuum when moving forward. I did notice the floor would be wet when going forward, but not as much as when you're pulling it back. The self-cleaning program is very impressive. Place the cleaner on the base and press the self-clean button on the handle, and the 30 seconds-ish process will begin. The base circulates clean water around the cleaner, discharging that dirty water into a separate compartment, and any debris, hair, crumbs, etc., into a small tray at the front of the base. When do you need to self-clean? Whenever you feel like it, and for me, I'd notice when pulling back the floor wasn't getting as wet, so that's when I did it. Depending on the size of the area you're cleaning, you may need to empty the dirty water and fill with fresh water multiple times. For me, I managed two self-cleans before having to top up the water. There is also a red light that will appear on the base when clean water needs to be added. The only negative to the self-clean, it's noisy, really noisy, and has quite an aggressive churn to it too. A note on battery life, 
it's stated at around 60 minutes, which is plenty in my opinion. And after using it a few times, 60 minutes seems very achievable. With anything like this, maintenance and keeping on top of it is important. It was very easy to remove the sponge roller, brush and rubber wipe to clean them individually, and then the cleaner as well. Those three components are replaceable too, and it is recommended you do so. The roller should be replaced every six to 12 months, the brush every 12 months, and the rubber wipe every six months. So there is that ongoing expense associated with using the cleaner, and that lower indicator light on the shaft will illuminate when the roller is due to be replaced. Now I've been using the cleaner for a lot longer, I've noticed that the roller takes a lot longer to get soft and isn't as efficient when in use, and it's not yet been six months. The process of getting the roller wet, then letting it dry, getting it wet again, does take its toll. So that would be the first component I get replaced. To summarize, I'm really impressed with Wipe. It's a fantastic product. It undertakes two tasks in one, saving me a lot of time, and actually does a really good job at it too. The self-clean is noisy, finding somewhere to store the cleaner could be a problem, and some may be put off by the ongoing maintenance, but other than that, it's a great piece of tech. As for pricing, I'm unsure right now, as during the campaign, they were on offer as low as £137, but I imagine that price to increase when they're released in the next month or two. If you have stuck around to the end of this video, thank you very much. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all our latest videos.